this is one of our drum handling units and it's designed to take drums off pallets and tip them into the horizontal and place them into racking systems and how it does that at the front here we have two hydraulically driven clamping assemblies so we drive this over the top of the drum we can lower the head down on top of say the green drum we can then press a button on the back of the unit which clamps the drum against these fork tines. We can then lift it up off the pallet, move it backwards, and then we can rotate the whole head into the horizontal, release our clamping arms, and then place it onto the bars of the racking system. So let's start off by taking the green drum off the pallet. It's a power drive unit, so we drive forward, We ensure that the head is fully open and we do this by pressing two buttons on the control panel. We then drive forward. We can now lower the head down by pressing a button on the tiller control. We can then check that the head is fully located. So we can see here this part of the head is touching the top of the drum and our clamping arms are in the correct position. We can now clamp these closed by pressing the clamp button on the control panel. Now whilst we're doing this we monitor the clamp pressure gauge and this tells us how much force we're actually clamping the drum by. And what we need to do is keep this pressed until the needle goes all the way into the green section. So let's do that now. You'll be able to see the arms come in on the front of the head. Now monitor the gauge. The needle's now in the green section. This means we're squeezing it at adequate pressure. We can now lift up and you can do this by pressing this button on the tiller head. So we'll press this. We can now drive this away from the pallet. Now the next thing we can do is we can move this drum into the horizontal orientation by pressing the tilt button. So Now once the drum's in the horizontal, we have no need to keep it clamped in the head, so we can release these now. And we do this, you have to press two buttons to unclamp, this ensures no mistakes. So we press both buttons at the same time on the unclamp. Then we can manoeuvre the unit round to the racking system. Once we manoeuvre into the correct position, we can then load straight onto the racking system. We're now going to place the drum on the racking, so it's important that we align up the unit correctly. So you may have to go forwards and backwards a few times to get correct alignment of the drum onto the drum rack here. So let's drive the unit forward onto the racking system, making sure there's sufficient height that the bottom part of the drum doesn't clash with the racking. Again, you can visually check to have a correct alignment and we can lower the drum down from a control on the tiller. Then once we're clear, we can retract backwards nice and slowly. We're now going to show you how to take a full drum 
or an empty drum off the racking. So ensure that these two arms are fully retracted by pressing the two unclamped buttons. These forks are going to come down the side of the drum until the drum touches the face and then we can collect the drum and bring it out of the racking. So let's drive it in there. Check that we're fully forward. You can see this face here is actually touching the drum. So we're able to lift it and remove it from the racking. Press the lift on the control panel. And then bring the drum out. Right, we've brought the drum out of the rack in now, but still in an unclamped position. So what we need to do now is bring these clamping arms to clamp the drum using the clamp button on the panel and watching the pressure gauge again. This is the clamp pressure. Move it all the way into the green, keep the button pressed. You'll see the clamping arms coming in. Monitor the gauge. There we go, fully clamped. Now, we need to tilt the drum now in the vertical, but we'll only do this when the drum is in a lower position. So if the drum is high up, it won't do it. On the back here, there's a tilt enabled light. It's a green light. When this light is illuminated, that means you're now allowed to tilt the drum into the vertical. If the tilt enabled light is out, it means you're too high to carry out the tilt function. So at the moment, at this height, the tilt light is, is lit, so that means tilt is enabled. So let's tilt it into the vertical. Okay, we can now transport this to the pallet and place it on top of the pallet. Right, we're now ready to place it on the pallet. Let's drive it forward. Once we're lined up on the pallet, we can lower down by pressing the button on the tiller. We can now unclamp the drum, and we do this by pressing these both unclamp buttons. And then we can lift clear and then we can back the unit away. It's important when you're operating the unit, it's a single operator unit and this is operated from the back of the unit there. So everyone must be behind this point. No one should be up near the clamping head because here obviously we have hydraulic rams moving pivots and rotation pieces so it's important that no one is forward of the control position. When we unclamp the drum it's important that we don't tilt the forks at any position because obviously the drum could slide off the end of the forks when they're in an unclamped position. Right, we're now looking at the control panel assembly for the unit, including the steering tiller head. First thing to notice here, you've got a keys. Put the key in, switch the unit on. We have a battery condition meter here. This tells you how many hours and what the condition state of the batteries are. The most important thing is the emergency stop. If we press down the emergency stop, it takes away the power from the unit. To reset, lift up, this powers the unit back up. Running on to the tiller functions, we have our forward and reverse tiller controls. So these butterfly throttles, if we push them forward, the unit will go forward, move them back, it'll go back. If we let go, the unit will stop. We have an auto reversing button, which if this touches your body, changes the drive from reverse to forward. So this would come into play if you're reversing the unit and it touched your body, 
it would make the unit go into forward drive and drive away from you. We have a horn, we have a lower control, and we have a lift control. The tiller only operates in a certain operational range, so in the full up position it won't operate. We have to operate it from this position down to here, and if it goes fully horizontal it will also switch off. That's because it activates these micro switches in the vertical and the horizontal. Looking at the control panel here, on the top we have our clamp pressure meter. And this is where we have to put the needle into the green zone before we pick the drum up. This is the clamp button and then we have the two unclamp buttons which must be pressed at the same time. But it is important to note that do not unclamp the drum when it is in the vertical unless the drum is placed on the ground or on a pallet because the drum will fall out of the head. This light here is the tilt enabled so this means that these controls of tilt up and down will operate because of the height is in the correct position. If we lift too high and this light goes out it doesn't allow us to tilt the drum. This is a safety function. This is lift enable again we have up and down and this just repeats the buttons on the tiller assembly for lift and lower. On this side we have a battery connection and this is where you plug it into a main supply to charge the batteries. When the batteries are being charged this charging light will be illuminated and if there's power onto this socket it disables the drive function so you can't drive away when it's connected to the main supply. But a word of caution with that is if you turn off the main supply then the unit is able to drive with the lead connected. So it's better that the, when it's charging, leave the lead connected and switched on.